Hey everyone, check out my new honeycomb carpet. This is a simple pattern. I used only solid hexagons and joined it together and turned into a beautiful carpet. I made it in two sizes, one very big centerpiece in hall and another one small version. You can use this carpet in hall or balcony and throw some cushion and turn it into a beautiful space or else you can make it in smaller version and use it as rug or keep a planter on top of it. It's up to you, you can make it in any size or any pattern. Before starting, you should have a pattern swatch like this. This will help you to know how colors are going to place in your pattern or whether you have enough yarn to complete this project. As you can see, this is my large carpet and small version. You can increase this size by adding hexagons to it. Without wasting much time, let's dive into the video. Today I am going to use these three color yarns. I got this from Raja Thread Store Chennai. This is chunky yarn and it is so scratchy. So I used it for carpet. You can use this for scrubbies also. Don't use for any wearing materials. I got this as hangs and I rolled it into a ball. Don't use hangs as it is, roll it into a ball, otherwise it would be a nightmare, you cannot take the tangles out. For crochet hook, I use 6mm crochet hook, I got this from Pony. To begin hexagon, make a slip knot, wrap the yarn twice in two fingers, take the second yarn, and make it as first again take the second yarn and make it as first and pull out the second yarn insert your hook adjust your whole size now chain four yarn over pull the yarn through this loop yarn over pull the yarn through this loop we got two chains now three and then four you will get four chains now slip stitch in the first chain yarn over pull the yarn through both the loops now you will get a center ring chain three one two and three this chain three will be your first double crochet again one more double crochet in the same ring for that yarn over insert your hook in the ring center ring pull out the yarn through this center ring yarn over pull through two loops again yarn over pull through two loops you'll get two double crochet we know hexagon has six sides so this would be the first side for first corner we have to chain two one and then two this will be your first corner then for second side two more double crochet in the center hole one and then two This is your second side and for second corner chain 2. Likewise continue this for 4 times. Third side I am making and then third corner. Fourth side and then fourth corner fifth side and fifth corner now sixth side sixth corner now you want to make a slip stitch in the third chain so chain one two and 3. In third chain we want to insert the hook 
pull the yarn out and pull the yarn from this loop make slip stitch you can see for each side you will have two double crochets for next row chain 3 1 2 and 3 this chain 3 will be your first double crochet and one more double crochet in the next stitch you will have this hole one more double crochet in this hole this will be your first side for corner chain 2 this is your first corner again one more double crochet into this hole one more double crochet in next stitch one more double crochet in next stitch again in this hole one double crochet this is your second side first you have two stitches and in next row you have four stitches now chain two continue this in this hole one double crochet and double crochets in next to two stitches and in this hole one double crochet continue this till the end this is my sixth side I have done three double crochet and in this hole I'll do one double crochet chain two you can see in first side you will have only three double crochets so in this hole I'll do one double crochet and make slip stitch to join in the third chain you want to make a slip stitch you can see in this row you will have two double crochet in next row you will have four double crochets next row chain three one two and three this chain three will be your first double crochet and in next stitch you want to do one double crochet and in next stitch you want to do one double crochet in this hole one double crochet for corner chain two again one double crochet in this hole this will be your second side so one double crochets in each stitch one two three four in this hole one double crochet chain two for corner and for third side you want to do one double crochet in the same hole and one double crochets in each stitches and in this hole one double crochet continue this till end you can see you will get six stitches now one two three four five six first row two double crochets next row four and then six this side is not completed we will complete at the end I reach the end this is the sixth side for six corner chain two and in the same hole one more double crochet you have four double crochets on first side and we want two more double crochets here one double crochet and in next stitch one more double crochet now I'm going to join in this third chain make slip stitch and I got my hexagon if you want this hexagon to grow continue this pattern 
for me this is enough so I'm going to in this I'll leave enough yarn and snip it make one chain and pull off weave in these ends and we can join this for joining take some yarn and yarn needle to join I will start from this corner so while working I'll insert only in this back loop in this hexagon I'll insert in back loop only make a knot lay this other end on top of this and sew it along when I sew I'll work only on back loop I completed sewing on front side you'll get like this here I join three hexagons likewise your project will grow according to a pattern while joining I use only brown color yarn it's up to you you can use any color I chose brown color to be uniform throughout this pattern that's it I hope you enjoyed this tutorial Keep crocheting. Bye.